Welcome. Happy 4th of July weekend. And I trust that with all the excitement and fun and family that we still focus upon the one who gave us the ultimate freedom, and that is Jesus Christ. Let's take a moment to lay aside our cares and worries for a moment and also our plans and if we have any grudges, lay those aside. Anything that would keep us away from the Lord and just savor his presence today. Let's take this time and make it a sanctuary for the Lord. Let him come into our hearts. Let's come into his gates with thanksgiving. I've got a psalm here I want you to, I'd like you to listen to. It is Psalm 145. Starting with verse 8, the Lord is compassionate, slow to anger, and rich in love. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. All you have made will praise you, Lord. Your saints will extol you. They will tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might so that all men might know of your mighty acts and the glorious splendor of your kingdom your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures through all generations the Lord is faithful to all of his promises and loving towards all he has made the Lord upholds all those who fall and lifts up all those who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you, and you give them food at the proper time. You open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing. Let's lay aside our cares and have a moment of silence and just enjoy his presence and come into his gates with thanksgiving thanking him for all he's done if you have something specifically some blessing you've got that's this is a good time to talk to him and just give him thanks for that and let's open our hearts to the lord and let's make this a time of worship we give us a few moments of silence although this is fourth of july weekend and there's firecrackers all over in our hearts, we can silence the busyness that we feel and let go of anything that might hinder us. So let's have a moment of silence, then I'll lead us in opening prayer. O oh God, we do worship you and we praise your name. And great is your name and greatly to be praised. And thank you for all the blessings you've sent to us as a nation and to us as individuals. We pray now that you would bless our time with you, that you would bless our time with our families as we focus on you, and that you might be exalted in our lives. Help us during this day and during this week to honor you in all that we do. Guide us now and fill us with your joy. By your Holy Spirit, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.